Hello, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, this is a Penno channel. If you could like, comment, share and subscribe if you're new or if you're returning to the channel. This is a match preview for Aston Villa versus Leeds this Friday, which is tomorrow at Villa Park in the Premier League. Now, Leeds come to Villa Park having not won a game in six, so... Oh, the Omens, you know, teams usually in that sort of form come to Villa Park and it's they've not won a game in five or six and they come and get either a point or usually a victory. So the Omens are already against Villa, but not to worry anyway, let's go into it. Um, Villa be looking to get over that uh, defeat to Stevenage at the weekend after losing 2-1. We all know how that turned out. Uh, I've done reaction video on that so if you want to check that out on the channel but yeah going into Leeds now it's a must win game it really is Villa haven't won at home since Unai Emery beat Manchester United at home in his first game for Aston Villa that's over 10 weeks ago now so Villa haven't won at home in over 10 weeks and it's much needed Friday night under the lights we all remember that Everton game when we returned to the Premier League our first home game where we won under the lights it was probably one of the best atmosphere that Villa generated and we need to do something similar against Leeds this Friday. Uh, going into the game, good news with Alex Moreno joining the squad now, fully signed, 13 million, great deal. And he'll be looking to come straight into the squad. Hopefully his papers are cleared. He's, there's videos of him training. He's been training with the first team now, fully involved in the setup. So hopefully his papers have cleared <clears throat> and now he's ready and available for our Friday night. Whether he starts for the... For Villa, I don't think so. I don't think that will be the case. I think he'll most likely operate off the bench if his papers have cleared and his visas come through and he's ready to play for Villa. Um, apart from that, there's um suspension for Leandro Dendonco and then injury concerns regarding John McGinn, who looks like he'll be out for this game and the Southampton game as well. Also, the possibility of Matty Cash. I don't know how he's come through yet. No update on that. And then also, uh, Una Emery did his press conference today and he pretty much said that Ungustenson's contract's been cut, the loan's been cut now and he'll be returning back to Sevilla or return, going to another club to find first-team football. There was rumours of having Achilles injury after the game on the weekend. Um, he did go off injured. But it looks like, yeah, uh, Ungustenson's gone now. So Moreno, most seemingly, has been brought in as a left-back to operate as direct competition with uh, Luca Dina and not playing further forward, which is what I thought initially anyway. Um, there were suspicions or rumours that he might be played as a left midfielder um, operating in front of Dinier. But no, his profile's a left back. It looks like he's going to be coming in to play left back initially anyway. And it's direct competition for Luca Dina. So we now have Moreno and Dinia as left back competition and Augustusson will be gone. And to be honest, Augustusson won't be missed Um I think his best bit of play was against Wolves when he came on, when he nearly scored that volley and he was actually decent when he was on the pitch for the last 20, 25 minutes. Apart from that, Augustuson won't be remembered. We thank him for his services, but he won't be remembered. And uh, yeah, maybe his Swedish partner um, Robert Olsen will also leave, but we'll see about that in because in, we've actually signed him permanently for three million, so, but we'll see. So yeah, uh, I think that's it really regarding that. Uh, Emery made some good points in his uh, press conference about wanting Villa to be a team now. We're a family, that's including supporters, the team, uh, managing staff. Wants to operate the club as a family, as in everyone's in it together. Everyone's with the positive, positive attitude. And we have to reciprocate off each other. So the fans have to get behind the team as well as the team performing to get the fans involved. Um, that's his main uh, output. That's what he wants to create at the club. And I think that he's done that at a lot of clubs where, where they have that underdog ability, where they're all as one unit. They're all trying to go in the same stream, in the same direction. And that's what Villa need to do because there's always discourse about the atmosphere at Villa Park, um, how the fans act at Villa Park. It's a bit different in a way. But at Villa Park especially, the atmosphere can be quite quiet and, you know, away fans can be heard throughout the stadium. And that's been of recent years. That's definitely been since we've come up from the Championship. Well, you have a few nights, i.e. Everton, Manchester United as well, come to, comes to mind where the atmosphere will be rocking. Um, and we need that tomorrow. We really do. Friday night, under the lights, Villa Park needs to be rocking and then the players need to reciprocate and perform on the pitch. And, hand, and we'll go hand in hand then. 
and hopefully we get the result. But yeah, definitely the family orientation around fans, uh, players and managing staff and the backroom staff, that is a big factor. Everyone needs to be getting behind the team. Everyone within the team needs to be getting on the same page as the fans and we need to be producing. And the club needs to be as one and everyone on the same page. So yeah, that was a big thing from his press conference. Um, going into the game, Leeds, not one in six, but they have some very, very good players, I think. Um, I tell you, he's been shining recently. Nanto, he looks really good. He looks a really good player. Rodrigo's been in form. Um, even since before the World Cup, he was in form. And then on the weekend, he scored again against Sheffield Wednesday. Uh, that performance wasn't great from Leeds, especially first half, but they came back into the game second half and the, the equaliser was coming from how much they were in the game. But as I said, they've not won in six. Um, I think Tyler Adams is back as well. I know he hasn't been back since... He wouldn't play at the weekend, he was injured. But I think Tyler Adams is back for Leeds as well, which is a good player. We all saw what he could do, especially if you're an England fan. You saw what Tyler Adams brings to the USA team and what he's brought to the Leeds team as well. So he's a very good player. I think Somerville's injured who's been a bright spot for Leeds. Um, played a few games last season, didn't really quite cut it, but this season he's come into the team and he's been effective and he's got some big goals for him, especially the one I remember is against Liverpool. So yeah, Leeds have got some good players. Aronson, Rodrigo, you know, uh, the back four, Pascal Stroik, he's a decent centre-back. Um, Meslier is a good goalkeeper. Um, yeah, they've got some decent players. They've got some Tyler Adams in the middle, yeah. Really decent players. So it's going to be a difficult game. Um, I expect them to come at us, you know. Leeds sides of the past, Marcelo Bielsa, we all know how Leeds Villa used to go. We used to have some absolute games. The ones at Villa Park, the 3-2. The one away at Leeds 1-1. One, one, um, some really good games. And they used to go off. And then I, f I feel like they'll be at us, you know. The beat was 3-0 that one time. I know it's a different manager, but... Leeds, sometimes you don't know what Leeds team will turn up. Um, we beat them away at Ellen Road 3-0. Uh, this season, the 0-0 was, wasn't the best game. <clears throat> Different manager for us. Jesse Marsh, not as um, gung-ho in approach as Marcelo Bielsa. A bit more reserved, a bit more structured. I wouldn't say structured as in... System because Bielsa system's brilliant if it gets if it's working, but if you're not good enough to operate in it, you can get cut apart quite easily. So it's a bit more rigid from uh, Marsh, but Leeds still play with that free flowing, uh, counter attacking transitional play when they want to. They've, I saw that against Arsenal. They had Arsenal on the ropes at Ellen Road. Um, they've really got at them. They got a good point against away in Newcastle at St James's Park as well. So it's a lot of. Good things that come through Leeds. Um, also, Rocker, I forgot about him. Centre midfielder, decent player as well. Good, good player that they've got in. You know, you've got your Jack Harrisons as well. We've, we've all seen what Jack Harrison can do on his day if he turns up. So, yeah, Leeds come in with a strong, strong team that we, you know, we should be looking to be and we should be expecting to be because we're at home and then we're above them. But you never know. You don't know what Leeds will turn up and you, you definitely don't know what Villa will turn up. And as I said, we haven't won since Man United at home under Unai. So yeah, we've lost to Liverpool, drew with Wolves and also lost to Stevenage since then. So it's a needed win. It's a much needed win. I think it's going to be a really good game and a game that we need to, we need to win and try and push up that table. So my team for um, Leeds, I'm going to go Martinez in goal. I'm going to go back four of... I think it'd be Ashley Young, Konza Mings, and oh, I can't wait to see Moreno. If he's fit and ready and to get in and he understands every style of play, then I'd play Moreno. But if not, it's Luca Um You go into midfield, Jake and Rabson comes into that right right side of midfield for me. Uh, Louise Kamara, Buendia, Bailey, Watkins. I think I'd go with that. I think. Danny Ings could be pushing, he could be pushing, but with the way Leeds play, you can catch them on the transition and those players are just a bit more mobile, but <clears throat> players need to start stepping up now. Emi Buendia, Leon Bailey need to step up now. This is, you've got to start stepping up. Ollie Watkins as well needs to 
just keep on doing what he's doing. Um, he's got good GA for us in the league since Emery's been there and he just needs to keep on building on that now. Keep converting his chances and providing assists as well. But especially Buendia and Bailey for me. They want to stick around and they want to be part of this team. They have to start producing. They really do. And then for me, they have all the ability to do that. So I just want to see it on the pitch. So yeah, I think that's how Villa will line up. Um, and we just got to produce. Um, if Douglas Louise gets his foot on the ball and starts running the game and Bubba Kamara starts intercepting everything and recovering the ball back for us, there's no reason why we can't score a few against Leeds. My score prediction, I'm going to go 2-1 Villa. I'm going to go for the home win. Um, not as confident as I would have been before, say, Wolves and Stevenage, but we've got to win. This is a must-win game now. These, You've got to start beating teams in and around you or below you. It's good or well and good having good performances and good results against your Brighton's, Spurs, Manchester United even having a good performance against Liverpool, but it's against these sides around you where you need to start collecting points and that's something Villa really needs to start doing in the space in the um, space of victories. So, yeah, I'm going 2-1. Uh, let me know your score pred predictions in the comments, how you feel about the game, are you excited? And, uh, yeah, any other thoughts that you have, let me know in the comments. Again, if you could like, comment, share and subscribe, that'd be much appreciated. Up the Villa, I'll be there tomorrow. I, want, well, I hope as many as you can are there tomorrow as well. If you are, let me know about that. If not, I hope you're watching it on TV and you'll be cheering the villains on. Um, as as Unai said, all as one, all linked together. So up the villa. Um, let's, let's hope we get the three points tomorrow. Cheers.